Hey ladies, so I'm gonna show you guys how I'm going to color this hair. First, I'm gonna put out a disclaimer. I am not a professional. I am doing this for the first time ever. I've never dyed any extensions before, but I watched a few videos and I, um, I'm gonna try it. I'm just gonna try it. So the whole thing, we're gonna try to dye some extensions here at home. The hair that I'm gonna be using is Lily Hair Extensions. And I chose to go with the Collider colors. As you see here, I have two of the neutral packs and then I have the blue pack. And since I, all my lengths are the actual same, I figured I could use one for each pack, one bundle each pack. You guys get what I'm saying. I'm over here about to stutter. <laughs> but anyway, I just felt like um, I don't know what kind of tones I'm going to get. I, I, this, um, like I said, this is new to me. But however, I did get a 30 developer and I have the salon care. The package do say get either 10 or 20 you know, if you have relaxed hair or if you have um, non-processed hair. But I did get the 30 because I do want it to lift. Like I said, I do have 16 inch hair. It's from Lily Hair from AliExpress. And I do have a 14 inch closure over here that I will process later. Just to let you know all the little supplies that I do have, I have the actual brush, the bow. I had to get pink, pink my favorite color. I have a wide tooth comb. I have some gloves. And I did get... um two packs of some looks like a deep treatment I do have some upstairs but I just choose to go with these two they were 99 cents so I purchased them and I do have my full paper right here so we're gonna get started and we're just gonna start mixing I'm not gonna waste any time I'm just gonna start mixing so what I'm gonna do first is my neutral pack I'm gonna do this one first we're gonna do that and we have to get it to a nice batter type pancake as they say so we're gonna do that i should have put my gloves on but i didn't i'm kind of excited i am not gonna lie to y'all i am excited because i've never did this before so this is just gonna be super fun for me i'll put my gloves on now this is like super fun for me and it's just exciting let me let me know down, down below if any of you may have um colored some hair you know, using a box dye is one thing, but actually doing um, all this good stuff here. So I'm going to move the hair to the side, get it out the way, and I'm going to shake this up. So I have the neutral color in right now, and it says here it lightens up to five levels and add neutral beige tones. So the reason why I went with this one, I did have the BW, I think it's BW2. I had the regular... Um, powder but I went with this one because it says it bleaches it lightens and it tones at the same time versus me doing the two steps I'm a beginner and I can't do several steps so I'm gonna go ahead and open it I'm not gonna smell it I'll get ready to smell it I'm just gonna add a little bit and they say you post to measure and do two parts and one part and all the other stuff but I'm a beginner I'm just gonna mix And they say this stuff, they say the blue one smells like blueberries. I didn't get anything about how the the neutral one, if it smelled like anything. But um, we'll see what happens. We'll see if anything smells. I know I'm throwing powder everywhere. Oh, it does smell like, I couldn't help it, y'all. I had to smell it. It smells like, you smell the... The developer, but it smells real fruity. God, y'all know I have to smell everything. Okay. So, right now it's at a pancake batter consistency. So, I think I did that one pretty good. So, I'm just going to keep stirring. And I'm going to let this sit for just a minute or two. So, it can activate and do its thing. I'm going to take out my foil paper. I'm going to go ahead and do the three. Now, I am going to do my tips first. I do want my tips to be kind of 
kind of light. And because I want my ant to be light, like I said before. It's applying very nicely. So I'm gonna let this sit on the tips for a while. And I'm gonna go ahead and do my second bundle while that's sitting. I decided to do it downstairs versus upstairs because I said this is a more open and ventilated area. And if I have to like open like my sliding doors, I have them right here. So I do smell this stuff. This It smells good, but then it, it has a, a little stench to it. Okay, so I have these two done. They're looking pretty good. It is lifting. So I'm gonna let it sit for about five minutes. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna saturate everything and then I'm going to work on the other one. Wish me luck, guys. <laughs> okay, so I'm mixing my second package of the neutral. The hair is turned. I already did this one. It's sitting. I'm working pretty slow. This is this new. This is this is serious. I have a lot of respect for hairstylists. <laughs> This is serious. Cause you gotta work fast. You gotta make sure everything is mixed to the side. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix the blue. So I still have a little bit of the neutral. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this. I don't smell anything as of yet. I'm waiting for that big blueberry smell. There it goes, I smell it. Okay, so I washed one bundle out. Looks good. This one is still processing. I'm going to do the tips of this one with the blue packet, and then I'm going to wash that one out. So far, so good, guys. Like I said, a little messy, but it's okay. Okay, so I have this on sitting. This seems to be taking a little bit longer to process. I don't know if it's because it's the blue pack. It's taking a little bit longer to process. And both packs called for the 20 developer. So I'm gonna have this since it's not if it's since it's not gonna be the brightest, I'm gonna have this one on top. So that's kind of good. I'll leave the bright ones at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start working everything and then I'm gonna do my closure. And then we're going to see how the hair looks after it dries. 